Procreate is one of the most popular drawing apps among illustrators. So if you recently got yourself an iPad and don't really know where to start, here is a great starting point for you. Uh, these are some great Procreate tips for beginners. Number 1. Familiarize yourself with the interface. This should go without saying, but it is imperative to know as someone starting out with a new program to be at least aware of what the program does and where the different tools are located. Thankfully, Procreate is very simple and minimalist design-wise. This video by the Visual Planner explains Procreate very well. Uh, but to cut a long story short, most of the interface is occupied by the drawing area. You have your standard menus on the top left portion, including things like the standard actions, such as importing as well as adjustments and the selection tool. On the top right, you have your drawing tools in layers, panel, color wheel, brushes, eraser, and smudger. And on the left, you also have your size and opacity manipulators as well as the undo and redo buttons. Pretty simple, isn't it? Number 2. Familiarize yourself with gestures. Although most of Procreate tools are easily accessible, something that can save you a lot of time and potential headaches is the shortcuts. And on a device that doesn't have any keyboard attached, these shortcuts are actually done through finger gestures. The easiest one is the pinch in and out in order to zoom in and out respectively, as well as rotating your two fingers to rotate the canvas. But there are some obscure ones, such as tapping with two fingers to undo and three fingers to redo, and if you hold, then it will continuously apply that action. You may clear a layer or a selection by moving three fingers left to right across the screen, and if you drag three fingers down, you get access to the copy and paste menu. For more shortcuts and gestures, you can check out this video by Bardot Brush. Number three, get familiar with layers. One of the main appeals of digital art in general is the layers. They allow you to keep your work organized and saves up the hassle of having to redo parts of your illustrations or adding slight adjustments to them by virtue of keeping them neatly separated and organized. If you aren't used to working with layers, it's a habit we recommend you pick up. Since you can adjust the opacity of each layer, aka altering their transparency for example, you can use these to separate the multiple steps of your sketching process, but one of the layer's greatest assets is a you can change their blending mode, making them perfect for adding special effects. Multiply, for example, is perfect for adding shadows to add into your piece. Screen and color dodge are perfect for adding lighting effects, while color is great for colorizing your grayscale images or checking the values of your colored images. Play around and figure out which combination of effect layers you like the best. Number 4. Organize your color palette. Color theory is difficult and very easy to mess up. So if you have a color combination that you like using or you find a pre-made one that you really like, why waste it? In Procreate, you can have the ability to create and save your color palettes. The way you do that is very, very easy. So let me walk you through it. Begin by importing an illustration with a color combination that you really like. Then in the color icon in the top right corner of the app and within the drop menu, you will see a plus that after you click on, will drop a sub menu that says either create or import a new color palette. Then you can swatch and save the colors from the illustration you previously imported. This works for direct palette sample swatches. And if you are confident enough, you can just save the colors you use often from your previous illustrations. Number 5. Take advantage of quick shape. Everyone knows how hard drawing a straight line is, and don't even get me started about circles, and if the shape has any more complex, big pass on that, thank you. Thankfully again, Procreate has what is referred to as quick shape, which you can take a mess of a scribble and turn it into a perfectly drawn out shape. Uh, this is achieved by simply drawing out the shape and holding the tip of your pen on the canvas. The app will recognize that you wanted to draw a clean shape and will automatically fix it for you. Now there are many ways you can mess around and many features you can alter as well and this is a tutorial by ghost pepper that will walk you through everything you need to know to familiarize yourself with this tool number six use streamline for lettering and line art Brush stabilizers are now a very common feature for most art programs. They allow you to bypass the barrier that is set by using digital devices, which can affect the stability of your lines. Even if you have a very steady hand, translating that digitally can still be tricky. 
Procreate's version of the stabilizer is called Streamline. And what is unique about it is that you can adjust its effect on individual brushes while customizing them in the brush studio, which again, you simply access by tapping the brush. Everything you need to know is covered here by iPad Calligraphy. So for all of you that struggle with calligraphy and line work, this tool can be a real lifesaver. Number seven, experiment with brushes. All right, a moment of vulnerability here. Art is meant to be fun. It's meant to be a form of self-expression and the process of drawing is always unique to the individual. This also extends to the medium and tools used. It's very common for veteran artists to have their own visual niche and preferred tools that allow them to achieve the best results the most efficient way. And for a beginner, exploring your options to get to that point is imperative. So play around and enjoy yourself. There are plenty of brushes and brush packs available to download and experiment with, made to mimic all sorts of mediums, from watercolors to oil paints and even colored pencils and markers, with a lot of these packs made available for either for free or extremely cheap. So go out there and experiment with what you like. Number eight, take advantage of the digital aspect. Digital art is real art, that goes without saying, even though a lot of what you can do with it feels like cheating. But as the saying goes, work smart and not hard. And if there is anything that the digital tool provides, it's always to make your life easier. So don't hesitate to transform, scale things down, and do the hue and saturation shenanigans, hate to experiment with color, and abuse the symmetry tool. Drawing is hard enough, so why make it any more difficult on yourself? Number nine, take advantage of portability. The next tip doesn't only apply to the Procreate, uh, but it can be taken as general life advice. Practice makes improvement and it's important to be consistent with it in order to improve. The iPad and Procreate not only allow you to draw anywhere at any time, but give you access to near limitless tools to paint in that long drive or flight. Or when you are bored in between classes. <laughs> that and drawing from life is one of the best ways to learn and improve the fundamentals of drawing. Uh, this is why you see artists dragging out their easels and sketchbooks to draw outside from real life. Except you have the advantage of carrying much less. And for your medium, to be much more forgiving. Number 10. Export your time lapses. Last but not least, Procreate has the option to record all of your strokes and compiles them automatically into a time lapse, which is not only great for creating content for all of you looking to showcase your work on social media and expand your presence, but it's also a great way to study your own process in order to improve it. Uh, looking back at every stroke will allow you to see which parts you might have struggled with, which parts you avoided, and even things you did well but decided to overthink and couldn't replicate it later on. It also allows you to spot the things that you did well that you might want to replicate later. And that will be all we have for you today. We hope you found this video useful and if you have any more advice you would like to share then feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you soon. Take care!